I'm going to show you how to take the round trip latency of your FireWire interface from this to this. Hello there. You're probably thinking, Vin, you've done this video before. And you're not wrong. Back in February, a forum member wanted to connect his Fireface 400 using photo drivers with Pipewire. That led to a video followed by a write-up concluding that the photo drivers didn't work with Pipewire, not even a little bit. That got the attention of the director of desktop at Red Hat, who bought a FireWire interface and shipped it to WIMP, and this resulted in photo support being added. Here we are, just a couple of days later. So let's find out if we can use photo drivers with our FireWire interface using Pipewire. Instead of my trusty Debian 12, I'm going to be using Fedora 40. And no, this isn't a sponsored video. Simply, if it doesn't work on Fedora, it's not going to work anywhere. Let's plug this critter in and get to it. Here we are on the desktop, and the first thing I'm going to do is open Pavu Control and check that the interface is detected. And it looks like we're good to go. So let's open a terminal and get to work. First thing we need to do is interrogate Pipewire. This number needs to be 1.04 or higher or none of this is going to work. Now, let's install a couple of packages, starting with FATO, Pipewire Module FATO, and of course, Pipewire Jack Audio Connection Kit. Up next, it's time for a little performance tuning. We're going to create a file called 95pipewire.conf. Inside of that, we're going to set the values for real-time priority, niceness level, and of course, memlock. Now we can add ourselves to the Pipewire group using user mod. Up next, we need to disable the ALSA drivers. Let's create a file called ALSA Blacklist Comp. Inside of that, we're going to copy a list of ALSA FireWire drivers. Now we need to visit Interfacing Linux, link in the description, and find the drivers for our interface. My Fire Studio Mobile uses the DICE chipset, so let's uncomment that and give it a save. Now we need to configure the FATO driver by creating a file called TinFATO Comp. Let's create the directory in our home and we can use nano to generate our tinfato conf. We'll paste in the default values for the module and save it. Now all that's left to do is update the inet ramfs and reboot the machine. Back from the reboot, and the first thing we want to measure is our round trip latency using jack io delay, 12.8 milliseconds. That's 80 milliseconds less than the also drivers, but more importantly, it's the same latency as jack without pipe wire. Excellent work, Wim. Now let's test out the desktop audio and VLC by playing a little Big Buck Bunny. In the graph, VLC created a source and it's connected to the Fado sync. Up next, Firefox, playing a YouTube video. Look at that weirdo talking about Linux. And it's more of the same. Firefox created a source and it's connected to the Fado sync. But what about digital audio workstations like Audor? I started the session using the Jack backend, and would you look at that? No problems here. And it's more of the same with Reaper. Everything just works. Even the MIDI. How cool is that? We went from not working at all with the Fado drivers to parity with the Jack Sound server in just a couple of months. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with Pipewire, so if I get anything wrong, please let me know in the comments. But you might be wondering, why even bother with FireWire in 2024? Well, despite what the marketing department told you, recording technology hasn't changed all that much in the last 14 years. Have a look at the published specs. You could happily record an album using either one of these interfaces, but I would probably pick the PreSonus. Not only does it have beefier preamps, six additional line inputs, MIDI, and digital I.O., on top of that, it's packing an internal hardware mixer that you can control in Linux. Also, they go for about 20 bucks on eBay. Well, that's going to do it for this one. You can check out the written guide on interfacing Linux. And if you have any questions about your setup, let me know in the forums. But most importantly, get out there and make something awesome with Linux.